Little disclaimer before the video begins. The stream from of today and the 3rd of June will not take place. Today is because I will have a birthday party because I'm turning 20 today. And the 3rd of June is the day of German nationals where I'll be playing. But a video about that will follow later. Thanks for like your understanding and I hope you will have a lot of fun with this video. Alright, let's go. Hello everyone, it's the here and I welcome you to this new video and today we want to talk about, well, what are we going to talk about when I make a video? Of course, Christrods. And I've been trying around for a while, like this list does definitely look different to you, but I've played around for a while with a synchro monster that has been here for quite some time already, but I didn't have the time to think about it earlier or like test it earlier better, and that is White Aura Whale. And after some testing on stream and off stream, I have decided to let it be in the deck. But I think we should talk about the reasoning more and why it is that I want to play this card and what is good and bad on it in Crystrons. So White Aura Whale, for those who don't know, is a synchro monster of level 8 who needs a water tuner and, a water on and one or mon non tuner water monsters and pops all attack position monsters of your opponent when synchro summoned, which is a huge deal. That is a disruption on summon effect like the card, like the effects we want to use in this archetype. The next up it has piercing attack and can attack two monsters per turn which is completely irrelevant for us, but the last effect is again really relevant, which is when it is destroyed by the opponent's card, you can banish one other water monster like uh, Crystal Quandex, and especially if you summon this card, and if you do, it, this card is treated as a tuner, which doesn't matter again. What matters is that is it summons itself back by banishing our Quandex, which is mostly like used to summon this in the first place, and it pops all attack position monsters of, of our opponent when it's synchro summoned. And I thought this level is really awkward. And it's pretty awkward to summon, and it is it still holds true. However, it is definitely worth investing in, in my opinion. Like if you want to summon it, you should probably. It's way better level 8 to summon than Cypher and Omega, although it needs a bit more setup, and that's completely fine by me actually. The problem is that you cannot summon it off Axis Synchron, which is the re which is another reason why I'm not running it. I don't run Axis Synchron. I don't I really don't like running it. However, you can run it pretty easily and summon it with like Quanex plus Rosenix. The problem which I had with a thought initially was that if you banish Rosenix to summon it back, you also have enough materials for the Trishula. However, this way you have optional plays. You can just go into the White Aura Well instead of Trishula if you don't need the Trishula or if you used the Trishula in the first turn, which is most likely possible because against stuff like Zudiax. You wanna go Trishula A except to banish their rat and one card from their hand so that you let them go minus while you can go plus basically. And this is a huge deal for Crystrons in my opinion, that you have this option. So if you don't have Trishula you can go into White Aura Whale. This is already a re really really good thing. The second thing is that you can also just summon it by entry something to level 3 and take a level 5 or entry um, Entry something to level 5 and take a level 3. So I'll just uh, dump a second self Fafnir and use Crystron Quandex, which is now level 5, and Fistburn to summon that. Or I dump a Rosenix on another Crystron monster. You, you get the idea. We just amplify our levels so it's alright. And this is our, also a pretty good thing, which makes us pretty set up to make White Aura Whale, which is a really good card. So, in the, at the end of the day, I can only say that White Aura Whale, after initial thoughts of this shouldn't be played, I must say that I was wrong on this card at first and I'm glad I didn't make a video earlier about it because earlier I would just bash the card to, to non-existence. To look at the other white cards, Basically, there was White Aura Dolphin as well. This card is completely irrelevant due to its level. We don't want to summon any level 6 that is not like part of Zectron, basically not a machine. And 
I mean, it is, its effect is alright, it also has this, uh, the resummon effect that White Aura Well has, but it's just not as good as White Aura Well in a, uh, uh, at all, so I don't wanna run this. And when we have something new called White Stingray, which is here, which is actually alright, but I still don't fancy running this, I, I don't know, but nah. I really do not want this to be in my deck, although it makes itself a tuner, but it's level 4, so it sucks pretty much. And when... I f don't think it's in yet, we have a uh, Mermel Abysmalia, which was brought to me. I will test that around first before making a video like I did with White or Whale, but I will test it and will most likely not like it because the card is pretty garbo in itself, but I will tell you more after I test it. This has been everything for now, I just wanted to make a short video about White Aura Well, which I did now. And yeah, see you guys next time, this has been Actrius and stay Raven.